What's something people don't know about cancer treatment? The battle against cancer has raged for decades, with scientists and clinicians tirelessly searching for new weapons to combat this formidable foe. In recent years, an unexpected contender has emerged from the shadows. Ivermectin, a drug best known for its effectiveness against parasitic infections. While its use in treating conditions like river blindness and scabies is well established, the notion that ivermectin might hold potential in the fight against cancer has sparked intense interest and debate within the scientific community. The story of ivermectin's journey from anti-parasitic agent to potential cancer fighter is one of serendipity and scientific curiosity. Researchers, intrigued by the drug's diverse biological effects, began exploring its impact on cancer cells. Early studies yielded promising results, suggesting that ivermectin could inhibit the growth and spread of certain types of cancer. These findings, though preliminary, ignited a flicker of hope in the hearts of oncologists and patients alike. However, the path from promising laboratory results to effective cancer treatment is rarely straightforward. Rigorous scientific investigation is crucial to determine whether ivermectin can truly live up to its newfound potential. As we delve deeper into the science behind ivermectin's effects on cancer cells, we must tread carefully, balancing optimism with a healthy dose of skepticism. The road ahead is paved with both promise and uncertainty, but the pursuit of new and innovative cancer therapies is a journey worth undertaking. Ivermectin, originally developed as an antiparasitic drug, has garnered significant attention for its potential anti-cancer properties. While its efficacy against parasites like roundworms and scabies mites is undisputed, the possibility of repurposing ivermectin for cancer treatment has generated both excitement and skepticism within the medical community. The scientific exploration of ivermectin's anti-cancer potential is still in its early stages, but preliminary findings suggest that the drug may interfere with various cellular processes crucial for cancer cell survival and proliferation. These processes include cell growth, division, and the ability to invade surrounding tissues. While the exact mechanisms by which ivermectin exerts its anti-cancer effects remain to be fully elucidated, researchers are actively investigating its impact on specific molecular pathways implicated in cancer development. Despite the early promise, it is essential to approach the potential of ivermectin as a cancer treatment with cautious optimism. Rigorous scientific investigation, including large-scale clinical trials, is necessary to determine the drug's true efficacy and safety in cancer patients. The road to establishing a new cancer treatment is long and arduous, and ivermectin's journey is no exception. Cancer cells are notorious for their relentless hunger, consuming vast amounts of nutrients to fuel their uncontrolled growth and proliferation. This insatiable appetite makes them vulnerable to a strategy known as starving the beast, a concept that lies at the heart of ivermectin's potential anti-cancer effects. One way ivermectin may combat cancer is by disrupting the intricate network of cellular pathways responsible for transporting nutrients into cancer cells. By interfering with these pathways, ivermectin essentially cuts off the supply lines, depriving cancer cells of the vital resources they need to survive and proliferate. This approach, known as metabolic inhibition, represents a promising avenue for developing new cancer therapies. Furthermore, ivermectin appears to impede the ability of cancer cells to generate new blood vessels, a process known as angiogenesis. Angiogenesis is crucial for tumor growth, as it provides a steady supply of oxygen and nutrients to the rapidly dividing cancer cells. By inhibiting angiogenesis, ivermectin may effectively suffocate the tumor, depriving it of the resources it needs to expand its territory. The initial spark of interest in ivermectin's anti-cancer potential arose from laboratory studies demonstrating its ability to inhibit the growth of various cancer cell lines. These in vitro experiments, conducted in controlled laboratory settings, provided the first glimpse into the drug's potential to interfere with cancer cell survival and proliferation. Encouraged by these promising early findings, researchers initiated small-scale clinical trials to evaluate the safety and efficacy of ivermectin in cancer patients. While these trials are still ongoing, preliminary results suggest that ivermectin may exhibit some level of anti-cancer activity in certain types of cancer, particularly those characterized by aggressive growth and resistance to conventional therapies. However, 
it is crucial to acknowledge that these early clinical trials are limited in scope and require further investigation to confirm their findings. Larger, more comprehensive studies are needed to determine the optimal dosages, treatment regimens, and potential side effects of ivermectin in cancer patients. Section 5. Beyond the Hype – Understanding the Limitations While the prospect of ivermectin as a cancer treatment is undeniably exciting, it is essential to temper enthusiasm with a realistic understanding of the drug's limitations. The journey from promising laboratory findings to a clinically approved cancer therapy is often long and arduous, and ivermectin's path is no exception. One of the primary limitations of current research on ivermectin's anti-cancer potential is the lack of large-scale, randomized controlled trials. These trials, considered the gold standard in medical research, are crucial for establishing the true efficacy and safety of any new treatment. Without such trials, it remains difficult to definitively assess the potential benefits and risks of using ivermectin to treat cancer. Furthermore, the optimal dosages and treatment regimens for ivermectin in cancer patients remain to be determined. The dosages currently used in clinical trials are based on those established for treating parasitic infections and may not be optimal for achieving anti-cancer effects. Further research is needed to identify the most effective and safe dosages for cancer treatment. Section 6. The Complex Reality of Cancer Treatment Cancer is not a single disease but rather a collection of diverse diseases, each with its unique characteristics, vulnerabilities, and responses to treatment. This inherent complexity makes it unlikely that any single drug, including ivermectin, will prove to be a universal cure for all types of cancer. The effectiveness of any cancer treatment, including ivermectin, is likely to vary depending on factors such as the specific type of cancer, the stage of the disease, and the individual patient's overall health and genetic makeup. It is crucial to approach cancer treatment with a personalized perspective, tailoring the therapeutic approach to the unique circumstances of each patient. Moreover, it is important to remember that cancer treatment often involves a multifaceted approach, combining various therapies to achieve the best possible outcome. Ivermectin, if proven effective, is likely to be most beneficial as part of a comprehensive treatment plan that may include surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, or other targeted therapies. Section 7. A New Hope for Glioblastoma Patients Glioblastoma, an aggressive form of brain cancer, presents a formidable challenge to oncologists and patients alike. Its rapid growth, tendency to infiltrate surrounding brain tissue, and resistance to conventional therapies make glioblastoma notoriously difficult to treat. The search for new and effective treatments for this devastating disease is a top priority in cancer research. Recent studies suggest that ivermectin may hold particular promise in the treatment of glioblastoma. Laboratory experiments have demonstrated that ivermectin can inhibit the growth of glioblastoma cells and induce cell death. Moreover, preliminary clinical trials indicate that ivermectin may improve survival rates in glioblastoma patients, particularly when used in combination with other therapies. While these findings offer a glimmer of hope for glioblastoma patients, it is essential to acknowledge that further research is needed to confirm these preliminary results and establish the optimal treatment strategies for incorporating ivermectin into the management of this complex disease. The emergence of any new potential treatment, especially for a disease as challenging as cancer, inevitably raises ethical considerations. Balancing the potential benefits of a new therapy with the need for rigorous scientific investigation and the protection of patient safety is paramount. The hype surrounding ivermectin's potential anti-cancer properties has, in some cases, outpaced the scientific evidence. This can lead to unrealistic expectations, premature adoption of the drug as a treatment, and potential harm to patients. It is crucial to prioritize patient safety and ensure that any use of ivermectin for cancer treatment is based on sound scientific evidence and careful clinical judgment. Ethical considerations also extend to the design and conduct of clinical trials involving ivermectin. Ensuring that trials are conducted ethically and that patients are fully informed about the potential risks and benefits of participating is essential. Open communication and transparency are crucial for building trust and ensuring that patients are empowered to make informed decisions about their treatment.
The potential of ivermectin to combat cancer is an exciting prospect, offering a glimmer of hope in the ongoing battle against this formidable disease. However, it is essential to approach this potential with a balanced perspective, tempering optimism with a healthy dose of caution. While early studies and clinical trials suggest that ivermectin may exhibit anti-cancer activity, it is crucial to remember that these findings are preliminary and require further investigation. Larger, more comprehensive studies are needed to confirm these results and establish the true efficacy and safety of ivermectin in cancer patients. The journey from promising laboratory findings to a clinically approved cancer therapy is often long and arduous, and ivermectin's path is no exception. Rigorous scientific investigation, adherence to ethical principles, and a commitment to patient safety must guide every step of this journey. The pursuit of new and effective cancer therapies is a noble endeavor, driven by the urgent need to alleviate human suffering and improve patient outcomes. However, this pursuit must be grounded in rigorous scientific inquiry, ensuring that any new treatment is thoroughly evaluated for its safety and efficacy before being made available to patients. The scientific method, with its emphasis on systematic observation, experimentation, and data analysis, provides the framework for evaluating the potential of any new treatment, including ivermectin. Randomized controlled trials, considered the gold standard in medical research, are essential for determining the true efficacy of a treatment and minimizing the influence of bias or chance. Scientific rigor also extends to the careful evaluation of potential side effects and long-term consequences of any new treatment. Ensuring patient safety is paramount, and any potential risks associated with ivermectin must be thoroughly investigated and understood before the drug can be considered a viable option for cancer treatment. The future of ivermectin in cancer therapy remains uncertain, contingent upon the outcomes of ongoing and future research. If large-scale clinical trials confirm its efficacy and safety, ivermectin could emerge as a valuable addition to the arsenal of weapons used to combat cancer. The potential applications of ivermectin in cancer treatment are vast, spanning a wide range of cancer types and treatment approaches. It may prove effective as a standalone therapy or as part of combination regimens enhancing the effectiveness of existing treatments like chemotherapy or radiation therapy. Moreover, ivermectin's potential to overcome drug resistance, a major obstacle in cancer treatment, makes it particularly intriguing. Further research is needed to explore this aspect and determine whether ivermectin can help to circumvent the mechanisms that allow cancer cells to evade the effects of conventional therapies. The journey towards developing effective cancer therapies is a collaborative endeavor, requiring the collective expertise of scientists, clinicians, patients, and funding agencies. Fostering an environment of open communication, data sharing, and collaborative research is crucial for accelerating progress in this field. Innovation is the lifeblood of scientific advancement, and exploring new approaches to cancer treatment, such as repurposing existing drugs like ivermectin, is essential. Embracing a spirit of curiosity and a willingness to challenge conventional paradigms can lead to groundbreaking discoveries and transformative therapies. The pursuit of new cancer treatments is a marathon, not a sprint. Sustained effort, unwavering dedication, and a commitment to scientific excellence are essential for achieving lasting progress in this challenging field. In the era of information overload, it is more important than ever to empower patients with accurate and reliable information about their health. When it comes to emerging treatments like ivermectin, clear and balanced communication is crucial to help patients make informed decisions about their care. Patients should be encouraged to engage in open and honest conversations with their healthcare providers about the potential benefits and risks of any new treatment. Access to reliable sources of information, such as reputable medical journals, government health agencies, and patient advocacy groups, is essential for fostering informed decision-making. Moreover, patients should be aware of the importance of participating in clinical trials, which play a vital role in advancing medical knowledge and developing new treatments. By contributing to clinical research, patients can help to shape the future of cancer care and improve outcomes for themselves and others. The emergence of ivermectin as a potential cancer fighter, though still in its early stages, hints at a new era in cancer treatment, one characterized by innovation, repurposing of existing drugs, 
and a deeper understanding of the complex biological mechanisms underlying this devastating disease. The journey ahead is filled with challenges, but the potential rewards are immense. If ivermectin fulfills its promise, it could revolutionize the way we approach cancer treatment, offering new hope to patients and their families. The pursuit of new and effective cancer therapies is a testament to the indomitable human spirit, our unwavering determination to conquer disease, and our enduring hope for a healthier future.